Okay, I'm going to show you how to filter a report so you can learn how to make the Success Club leaderboard. So you're going to go to www.teambeachbody.com. You're going to sign in, and I will give you my sign in information. Here's my email. All right, and then you're gonna to go to Coach, Coach Online Office. Computer's being slow. All right, so in the Coach Online Office, you're gonna to go to My Business, My Downline, Sponsorship Drill Down. All right, up here at the top, there's filter report. You're going to click on that. You're going to change the levels to all. You're going to select report columns. And in this case, um, we're just going to do success club points. So I click off all of those. So there's a lot of things that you have to actually click off of that automatically has checked. So I go ahead and Kind of clear them all and then I'll go back in. So right now it says current month success cup points. So I want the current months. Now if I wanted the prior months, there's prior month success cup points, which I always do the leaderboard at the end of the month. But right now we want current months success cup points. And just to show you one other um, board that I will be having you make, um, it's going to be from your volume. So you're going to click previous week. And that's for your volume. Okay, so previous week. It's right under PV current week, and you're gonna click previous week. But right now, let's just do this success code points. So current month success code points. Save formatting. So it still says all. I'm gonna change web page to Excel and show report. And by showing report for me, it downloads it down here and I'll be able to pull that report up. Um, so let me do that, and let me change over my sharing screen. All right, so now we're gonna share the Excel report. So what I typically do is I will take my little cursor, tap it right there above where it says first name, last name, current success of points. I'll bring it all the way up. All right, so now it looks like this. And then you can take your cursor and, uh, and highlight right here where it says A, and then click down on Shift and take it all the way over to C. So I clicked on the A, and then I clicked down on Shift and I highlighted everything. So then I'll come up here to this little thing that says AZ. This is where I can arrange how I want things to be done. I'm going to go down to Custom Sort. I'm gonna choose column C because that's where the success club points are. And I'm going to go from largest to smallest and click okay. So it now arranged everybody in order from largest um, to smallest. So when I do the leaderboard, I'm only gonna take the people that have success club points. So what I usually do, this makes it really easy, is I will um, go ahead and highlight these um, so these are the people that are Success Club 10 and above. And then usually there's a five and above, but we don't have any yet. So I'll take and I'll highlight these and I'll do a copy. And then when I go to Canva, which let me stop sharing and I'll show you how I do that. Um, let me get Canva pulled up here. So canva.com is where I um, get the leaderboards at. And let me share that. Let's see. Share my screen. There's Canva. All right, so Canva, I will give you my login information um, for that. So you'll be able to do that, but you'll have to log in. And I already have a leaderboard put together. So 
I do the same leaderboard every month. So here's my leaderboard. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. And the leaderboard, um, there's going to be a few modifications that you'll have to make. Of course, what is the month if it's not October, which is not anymore. It's November. So you'll be changing up here. Um, at least currently it's November. I don't know whenever you watch this video, it's probably going to be a different month. Um, so November. So I'm going to go in and um, type out November. And then I'm going to take what I have copy and pasted and I'm going to highlight all of this. And what I usually do is just right click and then click paste. Now what I copied and pasted, it actually should go down here because these people hadn't hit success club um, five plus yet. So let me hit paste. And you can see how it's kind of all mismatched. So this is where you're going to have to make sure you pay attention and organize. So the names need to be, the numbers need to be at the end. So sometimes it makes it kind of funny. So that's what I'm fixing right now. All right, so what do we do? The names are hanging over, okay? If the names hang over, now in this case, what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete. Um, I hit the little trash can icon. Here it is. I'm going to delete these because we don't have that many coaches hitting just yet. So I will take and copy. Um, shoot, I shouldn't have deleted one of them, but oh well, I'll just make a copy of that. So I made a copy of that. I'm going to slide it over here. And I'm going to highlight um, my highlights about half of these names and kind of spread them out. So I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to go ahead and delete those names. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this and just hit paste. So I'll paste the names I want in there. Now, sometimes you, like if somebody's name is longer, you're going to have to move this out or move it in a little bit. So um, in this case, I don't have anybody that has really long names. I don't have to worry about it. Um, if the size, if it looks really bare down here and the size looks kind of funny, you can mess with it and make these, you know, say make them 18. Um, so that way the board looks like it's a little more filled out. Um, same thing with the other names. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grab those, though I don't think you're going to be able to, I don't know if my shared screen is going to go back over to the Excel, but I'm going to go ahead and add those over here. So here's my 10 plus people. Um, my name is not usually on the board. I'll have to give you my points because my points are to, um, are not showing on here. So see how it did that? It made it a little long, so I got to bump Kelly down. And I try to make sure they're in order by points. I'm actually at 23 points right now, so there's mine. We don't have anybody at Success Club 5 right now. So what I would usually do is I would bring this and center it over and maybe even make these names a little bit bigger. So you decide what looks good. You want the board to look filled out. You don't want it to look really bare and blank. Um, I don't typically change the colors. I've left this the same. So that's how you do the success club points. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'll show you um, how I do the volume.